In this problem, we're told to calculate the period of a satellite orbiting the moon, 120 kilometers above the moon's surface. Ignore effects of the Earth. The radius of the moon is 1,740 kilometers. So what we're trying to find here is the period. And I'm going to denote that by T because it's essentially a time, right? And so what the period is, is the total time it takes for our satellite to take one lap around the moon. So to rotate it around uh, the moon one time. So that's what we're solving for. And so the formula for the period is this right here. So it's going to be 2 pi multiplied by the square root of the radius cubed, or, or the distance essentially, I'll show you what it means in a second, uh, times the gravitational constant times uh, the mass of your moon, right? So I'm just going to call it m, right? The mass of the moon. And so let's go ahead and draw what's going on here first. So imagine this right here is going to be the moon, right? So here's our moon. Actually, I'm going to be a bit bigger. So here's the moon. And so if this is the center of the moon, it's going to have some radius here. And so this right here, I'm going to call r sub m. And so we know the satellite is going to be orbiting around it 120 kilometers above the surface. So this is the surface. And so it's going to be above this 120 kilometers. And so keep in mind, it's going to be going around it in a circle like this. This isn't a good circle, but just imagine, right? So it's going around in a circle like that but more uniformly, but uh, just imagine that. And so now we've got it like this. So let me explain what each variable is, and then we're going to try and find it. So t, which is our period, is 2 pi times the square root. And so keep in mind, this whole thing is in the square root. Uh, and so radius is going to be this distance right here. So the distance from the center of the thing we're rotating around to uh, the satellite, right? So uh, that's what we're trying to find. So this whole thing is r. And so g you need to know what g is. So g is the gravitational constant, and it's just going to be a number you have to memorize. And so essentially, it's just 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. So that's your gravitational constant. You just have to know that. And so m is going to be the mass of the moon. And this is something I also recommend memorizing. Uh, but if you look it up, it should be 7.35 times 10 to the 22 kilograms. So this right here is the mass of our moon. And so we have g, we have m, we need r, right, in order to solve for t. So what is r equal to? So keep in mind what I said r was, it's going to be this whole distance right here. So essentially, it's going to be 120 kilometers. Uh, and essentially what this is, the height, so I could just denote this as h. So h plus the radius of uh, the r m, right, so the radius of your moon. So... Uh, Let's go ahead and do this. So the first thing you actually need to know first is what is the radius of the moon? So the radius of the moon is equal to 1.74 times 10 to the 6. So that's just a thing you have to keep in mind. And so, uh, see, they say it right here, right? So 1,740 kilometers. And so if you just convert that to scientific notation, uh, you'd get this. But first, you actually need to convert it to meters, right? Because I'm going to convert both of these numbers into meters because when you solve this equation, it needs to be in meters. So if you add 1,740 kilometers, you multiply it by 1,000, right? So this would be it in meters, and then 10 to the 6, right? So we would just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So 1.74 times 10 to the 6 the meters. So the radius is going to be equal to the height, which is 120 kilometers. And so 120 kilometers, right? Or, yeah, kilometers. Uh, if we want it in meters, just multiply by 1,000, so 120,000 meters, and then what we want to do is make sure it's in 10 to the 6th, because when you add them up, you want your, uh, the way scientific notation works is essentially you want your exponents of the, t uh, the tens to be the same number. So we want this number, right, which is the height, to be to the 10 to the 6th, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's just 0.12 times 10 to the 6th. So if we go ahead and solve for the radius, this whole distance right here, which is what we need to plug in, you would get 0.12 times 10 to the 6th, which is our height, right, 120 kilometers, plus uh, the radius of the moon, which we know is 1.74 times 10 to the 6th. And so the way you add them up is just take your 0.112, add it to 1.74, which is 1.86, and then you just have this at the end, so times 10 to the 6th. So... This is going to be your radius, right? And so now we can just plug everything in. So essentially, t is going to be equal to 2 pi times the square root of your radius cubed, which is uh, what we just solved for, right? 1.86 times 10 to the 6th cubed. 
all that over gravitational constant, which is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 multiplied by the mass of your moon, right? So 7.35 times 10 to the 22. So yeah, this right here is going to be, uh, you just got to solve it now. So if you go ahead and solve this, you should get about, this is just an estimation, so it's not perfect, but about 7,200 seconds. And so they don't, uh, so it's going to take 7,200 seconds, right? That's going to be the period, the time it takes to go around. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and write it in scientific notation. So 7.2, right? 1, 2, 3. So times 10 to the 3 seconds. So 7.2 times 10 to the 3 seconds. That's going to be the period. So the answer to this problem 7.2 times 10 to the 3 seconds. And so yeah, hopefully you found this useful.